Today, Endeavor OS team is celebrating 5 years of Arch-based Linux distribution that's made a significant mark in the Linux community. So, let's dive into the story of how Endeavor OS came to be and what makes this milestone so special. 5 years ago, 4 former moderators from the Antergos project decided to create their own Linux distribution. They had little experience and knowledge about building a distro from scratch, but they were driven by a shared passion and vision for what they wanted to create. This journey was far from easy. They faced numerous obstacles, frustration and moments where they almost gave up. Yet, through determination and teamwork, they pushed forward. In the beginning, setting up a server, creating a website and establishing a forum were huge tasks. The team did the heavy lifting of developing the first ISO. Meanwhile, they all had to learn a lot along the way, often facing steep learning curves and technical challenges. From the very start, the Endeavorist team knew they couldn't do it alone. They needed the support of a community, and what community they found. The Endeavorist community, known as the Endeavor Notes, played a crucial role in shaping the distro. Their enthusiasm, feedback and contribution were invaluable. The community support helped Endeavor OS evolve from a single offline installer for XFCE to a versatile installer offering multiple desktop environments and a window manager. This growth wouldn't have been possible without the active participation of users who tested new features, reported bugs and provided constant feedback. The Endeavor OS team want to extend their heartfelt thanks to everyone who has been part of this journey. This includes all past and current contributors, moderators, financial supporters, mirror providers and of course the Endeavor Notes. The past 5 years have been an incredible ride and the team is excited to continue this journey, creating more memories and achieving new milestones together with their community. Earlier this year, the team announced that they were discontinuing ARM support due to the departure of their sole ARM developer. However, after a short break, he decided to return and rating the ARM project. With fresh perspective and renewed energy, he revamped the ARM installation process to make it more user-friendly and easier to maintain. Previously, users of devices like the Raspberry Pi 4B, Raspberry Pi 5B, Odroid N2 and Pinebook Pro had the option to use the main ISO through Calamares or an install script. Now, they developed downloadable images for each device, simplifying the installation process. These images allows for a clean and automatic installation on a storage device, making it easier for users to get started. The newly supported ARM devices include Raspberry Pi 4B, Raspberry Pi 5B, Android N2, Pinebook Pro, RPI 4B and 5B headless server installation. For detailed installation instructions, users can visit the Endeavor OS ARM install page. The team is also looking into supporting the new hardware like the Snapdragon X Elite and is seeking collaboration from owners of Mac, M1, M2, M3, ThinkPad or other major ARM devices to create install images. To mark this significant milestone, the latest release is codenamed Endeavor, a tribute to the space shuttle that inspired the project name. This release includes several updates and fixes, ensuring that Endeavor OS remains a top-notch Linux distribution. Here are some key updates on this latest release. Calamares has been updated to version 24.06.1.2. Firefox has been updated to version 127.0.1. Kernel version 6.9.6. Mesa 24.1.2. Zork Server 21.1.13 NVIDIA 550.90.07 Plasma 6.1 for both the live environment and the offline install option. Now let's talk about some fixes. The installation no longer crashes when EOS apps are deselected in Calamares. Language selection is fixed for Italian users in vConsole. The R8168 legacy driver package has been removed due to its removal from the Arch repo. Most real tech hardware will now run with drivers provided by the Linux kernel. In some cases, a workaround may be needed, which is detailed in the Endeavor OS forum. Now, let's go over some unresolved issues. When installing Endeavor OS on older hardware with legacy BIOS and using the manual install option, Grub does not get installed. 
the workaround for this issue is to create an empty 8 megabits partition and flag it as a BIOS grub in the Calamares installer using a GPT partition table instead of MBR. This will allow the bootloader to be installed as a grub 2 core image on the partition. In conclusion, the journey of Endeavor OS is far from over. The team remains dedicated to improving and evolving the distro, always keeping the community at the heart of their efforts. They are excited about what the future holds and are committed to making Endeavor OS better with each release. This 5 year anniversary is not just a celebration of the distro but also a celebration of the community that has supported it. The Endeavor OS team invites everyone to join them in continuing this journey, contributing, providing feedback and being a part of this incredible adventure. As for me, thank you for watching, if you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more updates on all things Linux. Feel free to leave a comment below if you have any questions or want to share your experience with Endeavor OS. See you in the next video.